I picked up Zombie on release, which is a fucking rarity for me these days, not only because I'm poor, but I'm also cynical as fuck. But I heard great things about Zombie, which has left the U off its name from the Wii U version. But that's left me with a slight conundrum of how you pronounce the damn thing. Zombi. Zombie. Ah, who knows. I've also heard that this is the only decent thing on the Wii U. As it stands, I'm going to be reviewing the PC version. Graphically speaking, the game doesn't live up to its trailers, but then again, that doesn't fucking surprise me these days, and honestly, this game was designed to run on something with the graphical capability of a mouldy avocado. But then again, it does manage to convey a mood, a creepiness that's set into the darkness. So kudos for that. The overall visual style is absolutely fitting for the game, and as a northerner, I actually appreciate seeing London being utterly decimated. In terms of audio, the guns sound pretty weak. We're just used to better than this by now. The voice acting on the human and zombie sides is pretty reasonable, and the music adds to the mood. I like it. A lot of zombie games seem to miss the point of actually having zombies, and I'm placing the blame squarely on Call of Duty, and it's utterly shite ten a penny super zombies which cause all sorts of issues for other genres. That's probably going to be another video sometime. In a lot of zombie games, they're actually just a fucking inconvenience. Like, their only purpose is to prevent you from getting loot and having a good fucking time. In Zombie, they actually feel like kind of a threat. Kind of. When they're not bugging out through the terrain. Or launching themselves into orbit. There's something to be avoided, distracted, or otherwise not engaged. Because every time you take on even fucking one, you could find yourself in some serious trouble. I've said it before and I'll say it again, one thing that needs to stop with the zombie survival genre is super zombies. They ruin the mood and turn the whole thing away from survival and more into arcade shooting. Aiming is not easy in this game. In fact, I've died many times due to my inability to use a fucking carbine. Jesus Christ, even with the aim assist on when you're using a controller, you'll be lucky to hit the side of Buckingham Palace. There's no aim down the sights, only a little bit of zoom. Honestly though, the game's actually pretty fun, but a lot of what made it unique was lost in the transition over to the PC. There are a lot of great things here. The overall mood, the pacing, the way the mechanics work around the manholes and the barricades, the whole one bite and you're dead thing. The genuine feeling of terror when you're confronted by more than one zombie. I like that it's not so much of a sandbox that I'm either overwhelmed or bored. The Wii U version made use of the secondary screen on the controller, and I would have liked to have seen the game make use of my secondary monitor by displaying a map like Supreme Commander. I would have actually appreciated a proper aiming system. This could have been great. It's good, but it really could have been better if some thought had been put into where it was being ported to, and more of the bugs had been squashed. Instead, we've got the basis of a great game which had the potential to raise the bar for the zombie survival genre. I can entirely see why this is excellent on the Wii U, but it needed more thought to be ported to the PC. I'm giving this 6 out of 10. Enough with the fucking super zombies already.